What's up, YouTube? I got that gameplay for you. Okay, guys, this is uh, like a little tutorial on uh, X Patter. Um, not really a tutorial, just showing you that it does work just fine for uh, Minecraft. Um, this is X Patter 5.7. I was having difficulty loading up all the other programs of X Patter. They just weren't working. Say it weren't compatible compatible with Windows 7. That's what I have. And uh, mm. seed. What the fuck. I was munching. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not professional at all. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you are gonna want to download 5.7 if you have Windows 7. Now, um, if you have Windows 7, you're gonna want to download Xpatter 5.7. Now, I'm not gonna link you where I got it because, um, I'm not gonna be the reason you guys say, hey, there's a virus in in, in this or this isn't safe or or whatever. Um, I'm gonna let you find it on your own. I don't want to be that guy that that you know fucks your shit up that says I you know you blame it on me if your shit gets fucked up but it is clean I, I promise you that uh, but uh this there's a fly annoying the hell out of me get off of me but uh this is X Patter. this is what you're gonna do um, you just download 5.7 unzip it put it wherever you want open it up and this is what it's gonna be it's gonna be very easy step-by-step -step tutorial uh, it's or not step by step tutorial but it gives you step by step directions uh, just follow the directions very easy to follow um, I just want to show you this does work like this is my stick you can hear it that's my stick moving my mouse you can see it's really fucking slow I gotta turn my sensitivity on Minecraft almost up to like hyper speed whatever the hell it's called um, to get my stick to move like Xbox would this is my other stick got my, uh, my trigger d-pad See, we got the A, the B, the Y, the X. See, I got my start button as, what is that? I can't remember what I put my start button as. Escape as T, oh, okay, that's to talk. Um, that's for commands. Um, what's this? Escape is so I can get out. Now, like, this would be my mouse, too. So my, my right trigger would be to click on something. So, like, if I wanted to minimize this, I would just hit the hit my trigger. So, um, like, up here, I'm using my controller. Like, this is what I have it saved as, Minecraft controller. This is where you're going to want to go. Um it's gonna wanna it'll say like xbox 360 controller or ps3 controller whatever you got hooked up um, it's gonna bring you to this screen right here now it's gonna want you to uh... kinda put in your buttons it's gonna want you to go press up press down left right all that it's gonna ask you to do that to make sure your controller is all hooked up activated good ready to go um, like see you got the a b x y you know start select up down all that shit like these are my bumpers this is what I use to scroll through my items um, I've got it set up almost exactly like Xbox but you can't you know do that totally because you have to like double click buttons like uh, sprint is double up to sprint so you gotta you gotta have that going um, like uh, shift shift click your items like shift uh, left click on the mouse to pull items directly in and you can do that too so don't worry um, like uh, let me uh let me exit out of here real quick. I want to use my mouse for that because it's just so much quicker. Um, like this button right here. You'll click that and it'll pull up a keyboard. Just like, see, pulls up the keyboard. Now you want to check whatever you want. Like this is your entire keyboard. This is what I have. Like here's your mouse. Um, let's see, let's go over here. My mouse is right here. So like I would click shift. Well, you can't even see off, off screen. Like it's not big enough. I don't have a screen region big enough. But like right here you would click uh, on your shift button and then you would go over here and click uh, your left one right here this is my button one on my mouse and that would be to shift click to quick grab an item in your inventory see like so every button that you click on it will pull up the keyboard and then you just press what key you want that button to be it's very very easy very easy it's a simple step by step it tells you exactly what to do now the only thing is um let's see here when you go in let's see we're going to go to sticks and you're going to want to enable stick 2 because it does not automatically enable stick 2 for you. Uh, I figured that out once I loaded my game up. I was like, why the fuck can't I move? Um, so you're going to want to go in here, click stick 2, and enable that. And you're going to, it'll ask you whether you want to move it as a mouse. Let's see here. Uh, see right here, the tools, you're going to want to click on that. And it will pull it up and ask you what you want as your directional pad. Actually, whoa, shit. Actually, do I have that? There it goes, right here. Yeah, see, mouse. Um, I can't get it any closer to y'all, but it says mouse normal. You just click mouse normal, and it will pull up the directional pad right here for this stick. 
so it'll get you to where you can move your mouse around it's really easy and simple it tells you everything you need to do and then after you're done you just go over here you click on the controller go to save as and I've got mine as Minecraft controller now if you want to do a different completely different setup and then go and save it as like Diablo 3 uh, Counter-Strike whatever else you're playing on PC you can have completely different settings for different games and you just fucking load up XPatter pull up the uh, the file that you want load it up you know like um, let's see here like open right here you just open up that folder and it would say Diablo 3 and then you're ready to go for that game really easy and simple um, XPatter 5.7 that's what you're gonna want um, I had a buddy that wanted to know how to do it so that's why I'm putting the video up and anybody else that might need help with it you know hopefully it helps you guys out you've been looking for it because I know a lot of Xbox guys that are coming over to PC because they're tired of waiting on the update you know and once the update comes back they'll jump back on Xbox you know it's just it's a really cool game so I advise you to pick it up for PC man because it's really fun uh, I don't know, it just kind of teaches you some stuff that's coming to Xbox here in the future, so you'll already know what's up by the time it gets there. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, man. I hope it helps you out. If you liked it and it helped you out, man, give it a like. It's always appreciated. Um, it helps me out, but you know the deal, man. You don't ever have to like it, ever. Do what you do, so uh, you know the deal. So peace and take it easy.